Hey you guys, it's your girl Internet, and today I'll be coming at you with a video from Mr. Thomas Sowell, The Stupidity of Apologizing for Slavery. I mean like, I don't feel like people nowadays have to apologize for slavery because yes it did happen so long ago. I really feel like the people who were enslaved need the apology and the, from the people who enslaved them. And that's from every country. They're from the anywhere. From like the Chinese people enslaving other people. British. It don't matter. Africans and stuff like that. That's who needs to be apologizing. Not nobody from today. Especially with the politics who I would try to make everything into slavery and all like that. But let's see what Mr. So uh, Thomas So will have to say about this. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn your notifications on so you can see me. And let's get into this video. Tiger Woods doesn't owe me an apology. Nothing that he has ever done has cost me a dime nor an hour of sleep. This is not a plea to be non-judgmental. I am very judgmental about all sorts of things, including Tiger Woods' bad behavior. But that is very different from saying that he somehow owes me an apology. Is anybody else in here, is they judgmental? Because I know my sister told me that I could be very judgmental. But I don't feel like I can, but sometimes I do feel like I am being a little judgmental toward her. For all I know, my neighbors may be judgmental when I drive out of my driveway in a 15-year-old car. But they have never said anything to me about it, and I have never offered them an apology. This is not equating driving a 15-year-old car with what Tiger Woods did. But the point is that any apology he might make should be made to his family, who were hurt, right. not to the public, guess who might who, be disappointed in him, but not really hurt. Not, not even one public apologies to people who are not owed any apology have become one of the many signs of the mushy thinking of our times. Stower Mush. apologies for things that somebody else did. Among the most absurd apologies have been apologies for slavery by politicians. Right, for one I'm thing, saying, slavery right. is not something you can apologize for no. any more than you can apologize for murder. Right. If someone says to you that he murdered someone near and dear to you, what are you supposed to say? No problem, we all make mistakes? Mm -mm. Not bloody likely. Slavery is too serious for an apology, really and somebody is. else being a slave owner is not it's something really for you serious. to apologize for. When somebody who has never owned a slave apologizes for slavery to somebody who has never been a slave, then what began as mushy thinking has degenerated into theatrical absurdity, or, worse yet, politics. Slavery has existed all over the planet for thousands of years, with black, white, yellow, and other races That's being both saying. slaves That's and enslavers. Saying. Does that mean that everybody ought to apologize to everybody else for what their ancestors no. did? Or are the only people who are supposed to feel guilty the ones who have money that others want to talk them out of? <laughs> this craze for aimless apologies is part of a general loss of a sense of personal responsibility in our time. We are supposed to feel guilty for what other people did, but there are a thousand cop-outs for what we ourselves did to those we did it to. Right. Back in the 1960s, when so many foolish ideas flourished simply because they were new, a New York Times columnist tried to make the case that we were all somehow responsible for the assassination of President Kennedy. That was considered to be deep stuff. How in the beep is... Now, I wasn't born back then, but how in the world is everybody else to be blamed for that? Only person who is to blame the person that shot him because obviously they the one had the gun, not everybody else. So what in the world was that, was that person talking about? It made you one of the special folks when you believed that, instead of one of the rest of us poor dumb slobs right. who believed that the man who shot him was responsible. Right. For more than a century, the intelligentsia have been trying to get us to focus on the root causes of crime supposedly created by society, 
instead of locking up thieves or executing murderers. If some people don't have the money or the achievements of others, that too is society's fault, in the eyes of those for whom personal responsibility is an outmoded idea. Personal responsibility is a real problem for those who want to collectivize society and take away our power to make our own decisions, transferring that power to third parties like themselves, who imagine themselves so much wiser and nobler than the rest of us. Aimless apologies are just one of the incidental symptoms of an increasing loss of a sense of personal responsibility, without which a whole society is in jeopardy. The police cannot possibly maintain law and order by themselves. No, Millions like of people can monitor their own behavior better than any third parties can. They sure can. Cops can cope with that segment of society who have no sense of personal responsibility, but not if that segment becomes a large part of the whole population. Yet increasing numbers of educators and the intelligentsia seem to have devoted themselves to undermining or destroying the sense of personal front, responsibility and man. making society responsible instead. Aimless apologies are just one small symptom of this larger and more dangerous yeah. attitude. Me, personally, I feel like what he was saying was was right. I mean, that is how I feel. And because I don't feel like that's something that can be apologized for. Because that right there, that went from generation to generation. Blood, you know, like that, you know... People, when you, when your mom have you in her stomach and stuff like that, and what your dad feels and stuff like that, when, you know, when they can see you and stuff like that, you're born into that. It's like you baked on it and stuff like that. And that stuff, like, you know, I guess everyone when they say they should apologize now, but that does know. They the one, they the one had to deal with it. We're not dealing with that right now. I mean, it's enough starts form of slavery but to announce today's society because that's for another story but i feel like they should have an apology for that not us we didn't have to work and pick no car we didn't have to do none of that we just having to be a i, I would say a today slave because everybody had to get out here and as my as my dad would say, for the person that said no dad, a <laughs> dad, my dad would be like he would say, I'm out here working like a like a damn convict <laughs> trying to get money for my family so they can eat and stuff like that. That's what he would tell people. They'd be like, Can I borrow some money? He'd be like, No, I I got my family, I got the feed. And so but yeah, I don't feel like they need a they don't need a uh we don't need an apology. They do. Not us. We didn't have to deal with what they did. Dealt with. They did. And that's bring me to the end of my video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Toodaloo. Bye.